Hey YouTube, it's Dave again, back with Military Money Mastery. Today's video, super important, super important. We're going over the thrift savings plan. Yes, investments. Um, this is probably one of the more important videos that we'll go over um, in this in the series. Uh, I, I think budgeting is probably the most important, but this is like probably number two. So today we're going to go over what is the TSP, like what really is it? You know, some people may know about thrift savings plan, but they probably don't know everything about it. Uh, what are some benefits of the TSP? Like, how is the TSP better than a 401k? Or how is it better than an IRA? We'll explain some of those. Why should I invest in the TSP? I mean, I think it's a no-brainer, but I'm gonna explain to you why it is. And then how can I invest in the TSP? You know, like, where do I go once I'm on the page, once I'm enrolled? How do, how do I change my allocations? We'll go over all that stuff. Um, in later videos, we're going to go over the different funds. As you can see, we got CSI, GF, and the L funds. Super important that you know what they are so you don't make mistakes like I did. Um, and we'll go over those in future videos. Probably spend you know an episode on, on two different funds at a time and you know maybe break it up into three or four videos. All right, so let's go over what the TSP actually is. So the TSP is a government-sponsored retirement plan for military and federal employees. It's contribution. Um, retirement program, which means that it's based on whatever you contribute. So if you don't contribute anything, then it doesn't really matter, right? But it's very similar to like civilian things, which you have 401k or IRAs, which IRAs an individual retirement account, which is really good. Uh, but like I said, those are both also uh, contribution based. So if you don't contribute, you don't really make anything. They're also market based, which is which is good and bad depending on how the market is and you can't really predict it, but the US market is the strongest market in the world. So that's something good because if you invest in the US market over time, it's it's shown to be the best market. Um, so what, what are some of the benefits used in the TSP? One of the largest benefits, and it sounds kind of odd, is automatic investing. So what that means is you, you set a percentage and it just goes away. Before you have a chance to spend it, before you have a chance to touch it, it just goes into the into the investment account. Well, I know it's like sometimes you feel pinched and you're like, man, I, I, I just don't have the money to, to make it through this paycheck. It's it's better in the long run, I promise you. That money's gonna do so well over the long run and you know maybe it might be tight now, but in, when you turn 59 and a half and you wanna withdraw, you'd be super happy that that money went went in there, I promise. Um, the, the thing about automatic investing is everybody recommends it from you know Dave Ramsey, Tony Robbins, um, the rich dad, poor dad guy, Robert Kiyosaki, like tons of people recommend this way of investing. And it, it's it's by far the best way to invest, in my opinion, and plenty of other you know experts' opinions. Um, all right, so another benefit is the cost of operating the TSP is significantly lower than anything else uh, out there on the market. There's tons of EFTs, just index funds, which I've invested in index funds, but there, there's plenty of them out there that are that are super, super good, but they're also a lot more expensive than the TSP, and the TSP is super, super good if you if you watch it. Um, so what, what I mean by the cost is you have ex what, what's called expense ratios. So every year, um, even... EFTs uh, or ETFs and mutual funds, they have what's called net expense ratio. So you spend um, a percent or 2%, which mutual funds are typically, you know, a percent or 2% or even higher um, every year. So the TSPs is 0 0.032 and 0 0.033, depending on which funds you're in. Uh, what that means is, so for every thousand dollars you have invested, they it costs 32 cents or 33 cents to manage your accounts, which is super great. It's like phenomenal. That I I've seen a lot of different stocks and indexes and funds and and whatnot out there, and this is by far the best one that I've ever seen. Like way better than everything else. Um, so that's that's really good. It's an awesome deal. Uh, another benefit is you have the choice of investing in whether in traditional or Roth. So. Those both have their benefits and disadvantages. You know, traditional, the money comes out before taxes, which means that you get actually get to put more money into the market, but once you withdraw, you're taxed on everything. Um, whereas Roth, um, you're taxed right now on your contributions. So that, that sounds kind of weird. It's like, man, why should I be taxed right now? Um, because then, you know, when I get taxed when I withdraw, you're actually not getting taxed on your contributions. Once you withdraw, you're still taxed on on the money you make, but you're not taxed on your contributions once you withdraw. So that that's kind of cool, uh, and it, it kind of depends on you know what you're going to be doing when you withdraw. Okay, so um, 
An another benefit is you have choice on multiple different markets that you want to invest in. You have, like I was saying earlier, you have the S, the C, the I, the G, the F, and the L funds. Um, and th those are all very different markets. You know, I is international, C and S are both, you know, right here domestic, um, and G and F are also domestic. But it, it really depends on what you want to do. And we'll, we'll go over the different funds in the future. But you have the options of all these different markets that you can get into, which are really, really good, uh, really strong. And they, they actually... Um, they take the best from all those markets and they put them put them into each different fund. So it's it's really really good, especially for people who don't know what they're doing. Um, and I'm not saying that you don't know what you're doing, but unless you spend all day every day studying these markets or studying the stocks, you know, it, it, it's kind of hard to keep up with it. Um, so an, another benefit is you can actually withdraw from it. So you, you can take loans out of your TSP, which is really cool. You're you have to pay it back and you're charged kind of a a fee for doing it, but say you're in dire need and you need, you just have to have that money like a family member dies or something and you really need to, to cover those costs, you can withdraw from your TSP. Um, also, once you hit age 59 and a half, you can um, withdraw. You can either do lump sum or you can do little payments here and there. There's a bunch of different ways that you can withdraw from it, but it's, it's really good to be able to withdraw. You know, you, you have the option to. Um, you know, un unlike the military pension plan, which you can't withdraw from, uh, the, the TSP is really, really good for that. Um, also, you know, say that you don't do your 20 years, say you don't retire, you have the option to take the TSP with you. So like, say that you get out of the military after, you know, four, six or 12 years or whatnot, and you want to go work for another company, you can actually roll your TSP into another IRA program or another 401k program. So that's that's super, super beneficial that, you know, so, some other programs don't have like the, the pension program. All right, so let's go over why, why I should invest in the TSP. So while the traditional or blended retirement system military pension programs are an awesome asset, uh, they may not contribute as much money as you might think or you want at the time of retirement. You know, like when I hit 59 and a half, um, I want to be I don't want to work anymore. I want to have as much money as I can to go out and do the things I want to do during retirement. Have you ever heard of those people that retire and go buy a boat and just go sail around or, you know, like buy a house and then they don't have to do anything anymore? While I, I do enjoy working, you know, it would be nice to actually get to go and do what I want to do. Maybe grow a beard out, you know. Uh, so what one of the greatest things about investing in the market, so which is what the thrift savings plan is, is the thing, the um, phenomenon of compounding interest, which is referred to as by Warren Buffett, who, by the way, is probably the best and most profitable investor of all time. Um, he quoted saying, my wealth has come from a combination of living in America, some lucky genes and compounding interest. Compounding interest is, is probably the best way to make money in the United States, period. Over the long run, compounding interest, hands down. Um, so if you separate from the the military or federal employment you know you can always roll your TSP into a, another 401k and compound it there which is which is very nice um, so how can I invest in the TSP we'll kind of go over that and this is pretty easy um, first what you have to do is you have to get with your command financial specialist or your e6 or somebody ahead of you and ask them about how to invest in the TSP you'll have to sign up for it so you go to, I think for, it's DEOMI, I think, or it's um, some sort of other military pay field, but you can go there. Um, I know for Coast Guard, we have direct access for the rest of the DOD. I think it's my pay, uh, and you can go there and you can sign up there. So um, before you invest in the TSP, you need to work, your, work, work out a budget for yourself, like see how much you can actually invest. And then kind of go through and, and check what percentage that is of your income that you can invest and then invest it. Um, so once you're enrolled, be sure to go over your uh, to your TSP account and we'll go over that here. So um, this is what the the homepage for the Thrift Savings Plan site is. It's uh, tsp.gov and it's gonna send you to this this main page here. So you have your log. So the first time you log in, you'll have to log in with your account number and they'll send you a password and then you can log in, log in from there. And that way you can get into it and actually go over some of the, the benefits of being in the, the TSP. So this this snapshot was taken on um, Christmas Eve, so a few days ago, and these were the share prices for then. So, you know, they, they may change by now, but um, this, your account balance, this is where it's gonna show 
your, how much money you have in each account, you know, how much of it dis is distributed in each account and um, how much of your money you're actually allocating. And this is going to show you how many shares in each fund you have. So that, that's a good way um, to watch your money. Um, they have this view your 12 month personal investment performance. So the PIP, you can click on it and they'll tell you, you know, how much money you've made over the last year and percentage wise. So like if you've been killing it in the market and you've gotten like 18%, you can click on it and I'll say 18% over the last 12 months, which is really nice. You can also do um, activity summary and you can check balances from day to day. So you can see, you know, hey, how much money did I make here? How much money did I lose here? Which is, it's, it's really nice um, ability to have. So the next thing you can do is you, you go down to your contribution allocation. So this is how, when you deposit money into the TSP, you know, this is where your money's going. So you can uh, click request contribution allocation change and you can change, it has to be 100%. But you can change, you know, like say I want to put 50% in C fund and I want to put 50% in the S fund. You can do that right here. So in your contribution allocations tab. Uh, the next thing you have interfund transfers. So say that you're in the market and say the S fund is just killing it and you want to put 100% in the S fund. You can do that right here. You request interfund transfer and you set your percentage to 100% and it takes your whole balance and moves it over to there. But just note, like it's not instant moves. It, it takes it takes a day or two or three days, um, sometimes more. But it, it it depends on when you when you um, request the change. So that that's kind of the basics of the TSP. Uh, I, I know we didn't go over tons, but I, I'm trying to keep these episodes short. I don't want to lose anybody by you know saying too much information in, in one episode, and then we kind of kind of lose everybody. So um, thanks everybody for for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Uh, for the future episodes, uh, we're, we're going to talk about the difference between the Roth and traditional, which is uh, pretty important. Um, and depending on who you are, what you want to do, you know, it, it, it really depends. Um, it, it, re it really makes a huge difference, you know, which one you're in over the long run. Uh, and then following that episode, we'll go over to the different funds, you know, so CSI, CSI, GF, and the different L funds. There's quite a few different L funds. Um, and there's probably going to be enough information for each fund to be in its own video, but I might try and do two funds per video. That way it doesn't, you know, drive everybody out. But anyway, uh, I'm Dave from Military Money Mastery. Thanks so much, everybody, for tuning in. Um, I hope you guys had a great Christmas, great holidays. If you could, just like and subscribe. It it, it really is important to like and subscribe because then it, it gets the video out there. Like, more people will see it, uh, which is, is kind of what we're going for because we're trying to help everybody, right? So... Uh, if you guys really could, I, I would I would really appreciate it. But again, this is Dave from Military Money Mastery. Thanks so much, everybody, for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next video.